What is up everybody? This is Moritz here from Section Store once again and today we are going trying to recreate this bang of a section right here. I found it in the All Store store, shout out to them because it does look really really nice. It's this image video slider they integrated into this store and I do think it's visually really appealing and you can definitely display a lot of stuff and information in it as well. You can link different buttons and whatsoever and today yeah we're gonna try to recreate this one and I'd say we're gonna have a look on what we're gonna start with so this is the section I'll be using for this one today and we're gonna try to make this one look a little bit nicer and yeah let's get right into it. So yeah to start things off I went on over to the Shopify app store where I did get the section store app completely for free it's a component library with over 300 fully customizable Shopify exclusive components and the section I did use for this video is called the video let's see if we can find it already video with text 5 that is the one which has been used and yeah if we click on it we can see all the customizations we can do to the whole thing and we can also see that it does come with a one-time fee of nine dollars that means if you bought it once you also own it forever and you're not going to need an expensive developer to custom code it for you so at the end of the day it's a big time and money saver so yeah to being able to actually use it we have to head back to the my sections area of the app where we have to add this section to the theme we're using in my case it is the dawn live theme but it does work on every theme so don't worry about that then simply just open it up in the theme editor that is what i've done here already and that is the one you saw briefly in the beginning of the video and if you would want to integrate it completely from scratch just click on add section type in video with text and this is the default version you're going to get so i just added one video so there's no big change to it so yeah it does come with four little blocks right here and if we click on one of them as you saw in the beginning of the video already, it does come with a headline, a little subtext, the button, sustainability, excuse any typos, I'm just doing this on the go. And here I could, for example, just link it to our About Us page. We can also showcase a product, whatever you prefer, a collection. At the end of the day, your creativity is what sets the borders to the look of this section. So, yeah. Uh, Let's save it up real quick so we don't run into any errors and I would like to fill the rest of this section with content. So if this loads up hopefully in any second, we can click on the next one. So here you see it just says heading in the moment and here I want to put in just an image. So here if we select video or image, it's going to switch. So if we select an image right here and for example, I want to do a, a lifestyle photo now maybe this one it's gonna be really random At the end of the day you kind of get what I want to show with this and yeah here we could either select video YouTube video or image it's gonna all play as well the next one and I'm just gonna leave the text there and also this because I just wanted to get filled with content yeah this is looking nice already and I want to chuck in one final video and then I want to show you how you can do some customizations to the whole block itself so let's just get rid of this one because we just want to work with free. So here we're doing this and we're going to leave the text as well. And maybe we're going to link another product to it just for the sake of mixing things up. And here we're going to select video and the video we're going to select is going to be a super random one I have in my store right here. Maybe we're just going to pick this one. Done. Perfect. And if we scroll through it, we're going to see this video as well. And yeah, that is pretty much how you fill this thing with content. And now I want to show you how you can do customizations to the whole thing itself. So if I click on the main block, we can see the slider gap, which is going to get bigger or smaller. It's the gap between the text and the slide. We can decide where it's going, going to be. Um, also the media roundness, how much rounding this has here on the corner. If it's going to be a portrait, square, landscape, whatever you prefer. Let's maybe put it to square and in mobile it does work as well of course so if i switch to mobile you can see i got the little sliders as well and the text is just going to be underneath it this is also something you can customize of course so it always comes with a desktop and mobile customization option but yeah that is pretty much everything i wanted to show you we can even decide how the buttons going to look like if we want to have that as well and on the very last one we can see all the colors which are of course changeable as well and yeah i'm just gonna 
show you this real quick in the live version because I don't want to get into detail too much because at the end of the day you want to customize it to your likings just wanted to show you all the features and different attributes you can include into the section and if we scroll down we should be able to see the working live version so yeah this infinity loop of the slide works perfectly fine and if we click on it it's going to link us to the product we linked it to and yeah that pretty much brings us to the end of this tutorial hope you guys found it useful and if you did always feel free to leave a like and a follow and with that being said have a good one and peace out